Not to average tabletop. Woohoo! Welcome to Nacho Average Tabletop. I'm Pepper, and today I'll be unboxing Conspiracy, an Abyss Universe game. I've actually played this game quite a few times on Board Game Arena, BGA as the cool kids call it. I've played that quite a few times, so much that it even made my top 50 games of all time and my top 10 games new to me of 2021. Um, so this was a no-brainer to um, pick this one up for an actual physical copy. Because, as you can see, the artwork is beautiful as it is in Abyss. The whole universe um, has great artwork. And Bruno Catala is one of my favorite designers. So, looks like an actually pretty short rule book. I don't actually see a number for the pages, but um, pretty simple. Looks like a decent one. And here are some cards. I have no assistant this time, so we'll have to, we'll have to play it live. Using my non-dominant hand to open that. That was pretty dangerous, but actually went pretty smoothly. And this is pretty much the, the heart of the game, is all of these cards and different colors, beautiful, very colorful game. Um, but yeah, great artwork throughout, um, kind of each of them kind of has a unique look, um, unique theme for the different colors and a lot of unique artwork and creatures. But yeah, kind of within each color there's some similarities between the creatures which is i love when any game kind of has a the different races kind of have their own unique look here is a i believe this is to keep track of your pearls maybe next up we have more cards so let's see if we can get this There we go. This looks like the location deck with all the unique scoring. Five points, get a pearl. Four points, get two pearls. Three points, get three pearls. Points for your keys, seven points. Point for two pearls. Yeah, lots of unique scoring, which I really, really enjoy in this game, is all the different routes that you can take to um, score tons of points. And yeah, great artwork on each of these. Lots of unique artwork, although those are similar, but I really love the all the different colors. These are probably Viticulture season card size, uh, but of course these are more horizontally printed. Next up, we have cardboard pop-ups, which it looks like one might have popped up, but maybe there's just nothing in there. Oh, yep, there's one in there. I believe these tokens keep track of your highest scoring in each of the races, um, which is one of the th things that you score for um, at the end of the game. Um, but yeah, I really like the each of the unique symbols for the different colors. Um, so even if you are colorblind, that can kind of help you out. Um, and then you've also got this five point token for the most pearls and and there's the pearl token, which I didn't know if there would be multiple pearl tokens, but it appears that this will go on that track that we found earlier, which I have now lost. Who knows where, where that is. Here it is. Apparently this will go on here and um, track whoever has the most pearls, or maybe you'll pass this back and forth. I'm not sure exactly how they'll keep track of that. Not smart enough to figure that out. 
Um, but yeah, that is everything in Conspiracy. Um, this is a tin container, which I think for a small game like this, I have no problem with that. Once they get a little bigger, um, I prefer cardboard, but for a small game, I, I definitely enjoy a good tin. Thank you for watching. Um, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Even consider subscribing, we'd really appreciate that. And as always, don't forget to keep on nibbling on our content.